Howdy Doody Creatives, it is Avery Green, AKA Everything Creative, and if you have not guessed, today is all about sound. All right, let's get started. Oftentimes, I'll be sitting around watching some of my favorite YouTubers, and I'll think to myself, wow, I really like what I saw. But then the musician in me will sneak up from my subconscious and be like, yo Avery, did you take the time to appreciate the audio though? And then I'll be like, hey subconscious, you're right. My eyes were fed, but did I remember to feed my ears? In other words, did I truly take the time to appreciate the creator's sensory intentions as I watched the video unfold? Now, some might say, Dude, you're totally overthinking it, bro. To which I'll say, I sure am. Video creators are artists, just like writers, painters, or sculptors. Sculptists? Artists spend days, months, weeks, or even years trying to share their creative perspective with their audience, their own depiction of life, which is special. And because I appreciate these efforts, I personally get joy when I realize how someone's art has stimulated multiple senses. And this brings me to the point of this whole video and a very important aspect of video editing, sound design. All right, so there are a bajillion different sounds out there just waiting to be heard. And many of these sounds come from places we've never been. Whether it's inside someone's imagination or outside in a volcano somewhere, this offers an opportunity for creators to dish out an endless gumbo of possibilities since sound's depths have not yet been reached. A revelation that allows creators to play with all that gray area. For instance, if I needed a dinosaur roar for a video. Honestly, I've never met a dinosaur before. However, I can pull inspiration from television, film, and nature to guide me through the process of finding that sound. This Triceratops, for instance. I named her Trinity. For her roar, I've compiled audio from a sea lion, delayed, an actual lion, sped up, a tiger, repitched, and the gargling of water to create a convincing dino call. Good job, Trinity. So as you can see, sound design is much more than adding a cool track to the video for vibes. It includes the bending, equalizing, delaying, retiming, repitching, and replacing of any sound an editor has in their arsenal. It all comes down to the end result, knowing where you want to go and using sound to get there. Now, if you recall from the beginning of this video, one way to get unique sounds is to record yourself or object interactions into the mic. Now, I'm no professional Foley artist, but I do spend large quantities of time working with sound beyond the background music. My favorite part, of course, is when I finally add the video, it all comes together, and I get to see, hear, and sometimes even taste the footage. Side note. Yo, Avery, that's cool and all, but what does any of this have to do with the coffee beans that you inserted into my subconscious 12 seconds into this video? Oh yes, I did do that, didn't I? And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. But here's why. Talking about sound is fun, I'll admit, but I wouldn't be a video editor if I didn't make a B-roll coffee video and find a way to relate it to this topic. So to better demonstrate the power of sound, I have created one rite of passage B-roll coffee video, check, and utilized my audio arsenal in different ways for versions one and two. As you watch the two versions I'm about to show you, I ask that you like and subscribe, and to also consider all we've discussed today. Track your senses as the sound guides you. Notice what was added or taken away, and consider the feeling you're left with by the end of each version. Feel free to share those feelings in the comments. I'd like to know. Anyway, you guys don't need me anymore. Go become one with sound in three,
Oh yes, I did do that, didn't I?